Hello, hello, and happy midweek Wednesday to all of my Aquarius. This is Queen Amora coming to you with your general reading. Happy midweek Wednesday. Today, Mercury goes station direct. So therefore, we will only have one planet that is retrograde, and that is your ruling planet, which is Uranus, or at least is one of your ruling planets, Aquarius. Let's go. Let's see what you can expect as we move towards closing out this cycle. Yes, last quarter moon phase within this cycle is really about gathering feedback, identifying any energy leaks, if you feel like there's been any energy leaks. Um whether it's in you from procrastination, fear, doubt, any of those things, people, places, and things. Also, it's a time to clear and clean out things because you're about to move towards a new a new cycle. We have a super moon in Aquarius on the 21st. Super new moon could mean a super new you. So as we are closing out any cycle, Aquarius, just so you know, and if you happen to watch any of the other videos for the other signs, I'll be saying the same thing. It can be quite draining because your spirit is saying, I'm leaving some things behind. And one part of your spirit is saying, I'm leaving some things behind. While the other part of your spirit is like, woohoo, we're about to close out a cycle and move forward, right? So for a lot of people, this is also the beginning, marks the beginning of a new year. So many exciting things are happening right now, Aquarius. And let's see what your cards have to say. Here we have the Ten of Swords. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of, uh, I'm sorry, the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and also the Two of Wands. All right, all right, all right, all right. So here we have the Ten of Swords. Remember how I was talking about how like your spirit is almost as like it's grieving almost like, okay, I got to leave some things behind, right? So this is why it's important to one, pull your full birth chart, find out what your moon sign is. So if you feel stressed because your spirit feels like, okay, I'm drained, I'm exhausted. I know I got to leave some things behind, whatever those things are. And it looks like somebody's fear was that um, if I leave some things behind, people are not going to talk to me. People may be running smear campaigns and these could be people that are close to you, or they may not respond in the way that that you intended it. And so there could be some, you know, some, some fear there, but here we go. We got the King of Cups and also the Queen of Cups. You've gained a lot of wisdom. Some things may just like, feel like a, like right there, boom in your face that, wow, if I'm not constantly just giving, 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 this is a real reality that sometimes people just, I, I, I'm starting to realize as long as I'm giving, I'm getting everything you know, some of you all, okay, because these are 10 swords, right? So some of it is as long as I'm giving, you just come into this realization, as long as I'm giving, 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 you know, for some people, they've still been breadcrumbing you, still kind of leaving gaps in conversations, not really telling you everything. And you still just kind of, well, if I just keep on giving, then maybe eventually that'll change. This may be a right in your face notice that when you pull back and you start saying no and creating very firm boundaries, you get the sound of crickets, nothing, right? And so your fear of being by yourself is going to, is, is you're compassionate towards energies, but you're also very, very wise. And so I do see somebody planning a trip, going somewhere as we gearing up for Aquarius season. Um, I do see somebody have just kind of like this new knowledge, like while wow, a light bulb went off and just like, wow, okay, I guess that's what it is. I guess I need to just move on. But the more and more you focus on, um, if, if you're focusing on, if I'm not giving people what they want, there's a real possibility that I may not have, I may not have them in my life. It's also the realization that, okay, maybe I overgave. This is going to help somebody to heal from this right here. Maybe I overgave so much that I, I played a role in them always assuming that I'm going to keep giving and giving and giving and giving and giving, whether it's giving your time, your money, just any kind of your energy, right? And so I said, a source is saying to you, be very conservative with your time. Your time is your currency um, because new energy is coming across your path. So you don't have to go out and frivolously spend because you're stressed. That's why I say pull your full uh, birth chart, find out what your moon sign is. Because your moon, our moon sign is what mothers, like how we mother ourselves. It's a form of self-care. How do we take our uh, care of ourselves without going out and just spending a lot of money, just temporarily feeling better? But then when you think about it, okay, I'm, I'm still sitting with this right here, this, this, you know, something that's like right in my face, undeniable truth. 
you know, right in my face. So let's keep it moving forward. You got a lot of opportunities coming your way, opportunities for advancement at work, opportunities to meet new people, opportunities to travel, opportunities to make new money. So again, it's like sources saying to whomever who may have had a fear that if I, if I create some firm boundaries, that may mean that I may lose, lose some people and sources like, you don't have to worry about that. Cause I got you covered on all sides. So be conservative with your energy. So that's why I know that somebody is going to be planning a trip, traveling somewhere just to kind of, um, try to, you know, relax a bit, Pro you know, possibly near water. Remember we talk about water and the power of water, right. And just replenishing those emotions. But, uh, you know, somebody's actions are going to be, uh, somebody's actions are going to show you how they really feel more so about themselves, not necessarily about you. That's where you can't get it mixed up, Aquarius. It's like the moment you start to set boundaries and people kind of pull back or just kind of shut down, that's something about, that speaks more about them than you. So don't worry about, you know, you're a fixed sign, but don't get fixated on you know, not wanting to get out of the bed, being emotionally drained. Your spirit is already showing you some things, which is one, you're coming to the end. Okay. All right. So one, you're coming to the end of something and, um, and your spirit is feeling, you know, feeling, um, that something is coming to an end. Right. But again, super you, super new you. All right. So here we have the lover's card. We also have the Hierophant card. So very clear messages are coming to you about getting rooted and grounded and, and keeping your vibrations very, very high. Also, we have the Emperor card, which is attached to um, attached to Aries, but it's also attached to Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is no longer retrograde. Um, we also have the High Priestess, the Magician, and also the Empress card. So you're definitely entering into a season of prosperity um, and abundance and clear messages are coming down to you about it. So this is where you want to put your energy, right? So clear, you know, you could, your dreams could be become very, very vivid, or you could feel very sensitive to energies, messages that are coming through. Pay attention to all the messages that are coming through because whatever somebody's fear was, sources, so you, you don't have to worry about the fear of, because you're going through a rebirth. Where's the card? You're actually going through a rebirth. And on the other side of that, I mean, it's already, the process has already started. And so on the other side of all of that is a lot of abundance and uh, prosperity. And so for those of you all who may want to, um, for those of you all who may want to be in a romantic relationship, I do see that coming your way. Again, you got a lot of opportunities to meet people. Like I said, it's like you got the whole world in front of you and going through this rebirth. A lot of good things are coming your way, Aquarius. So again, get ready for a super new you and whatever you were afraid of leaving behind, you know, from the 20th, wrapping it up, you know, the 20th is the last day of the cycle entering into a super new moon in Aquarius. Don't try not to operate in fear. Try not to operate in fear. Try not to operate in fear at all. Wow. Okay. A lot of duplicate cards are coming out. Okay. So the Hierophant card came out again. This is really speaking to your spirituality. This is where somebody's at a much higher frequency. Um, I see somebody feeling a lot happier or feeling a lot or more organized. I see somebody, um, um, I do see somebody, this is really reiterating balance here. So this card is attached to Taurus and you have two feminine and two masculine energies right here. So this is about, this is really about balance. This is a message coming through to you to do more of what works best for you. Like really get balanced out. Remember we had a, remember that we kicked off that last quarter moon on the 14th of January in Libra. Libra and Taurus are actually ruled by the same planet, which is Venus. Venus is the planet of love and pleasure. And this is in all of your relationships, professional relationships, romantic relationships, platonic relationships and soul tribe family whatever but i'm seeing i'm, I'm also seeing the lover's cards coming out twice so this is really reiterating more of self-love what are you going to do to nurture yourself feminine energy feminine energy what are you doing to nurture yourself to create a life that's where you want to put your energy this is really the message for you aquarius is 
learning how to be in receiving mode of things that feel best for you. I'm seeing financial independence also on your cards. This is what you're entering into, financial independence. That's why Source is saying be conservative with your spending. Find out what your, you know, find out what your uh, your moon sign is and do more of that, which if you're an overget or if you have been an overgiver in the past, it's going to make you feel like I'm, I feel selfish for doing this. But what Source is trying to get somebody to do is, and it's not really forcing you in a in a sense of, what you may be thinking is for, it's more of encouraging you to balance out your duality. Somebody is so used to giving, giving. That's why you have so many swords here. Somebody is so used to just giving of your time, your energy, giving attention to things that hurt you, um, that it's time to heal. It's time to heal from all of that. So instead of overthinking or ruminating over a situation, here we have the four of cups. Source is saying, get back on your throne. You're very wise about a situation. If you didn't know what it was before, you now know what it is. You're still very compassionate towards a situation. It's almost like some of the people that you may have to leave behind, you may have spoiled them. You know, and people say, you know, it's spoiled kids. You know, you're just giving so much and giving, giving, giving. Some of those that you get, you've spoiled some of your ex, your ex friends, ex lovers, some of your, like people just almost expect for you to give them a call first. They expect for you to give them money first. They expect for you to, you know, sit around and overthink it. So as soon as they call you, answer the phone real fast. And so this new you of balance, because you're at a higher frequency now, you're saying, it's going to feel like somebody feels a lot lighter. Somebody's going to feel rejuvenated, almost like a child again. It's like a huge relief. Um, something has just, you, you just, like I said, sun card is the most positive card in the deck. And somebody's just going to feel like a kid again. It's like I'm putting my energy towards things that I absolutely love. I'm doing things for myself. You know, what I feared for before, I don't fear that anymore. And I'm moving forward. So some new inspiration is coming across your path. New inspiration is coming across your path, so pay attention to it. Some new inspiration could be in a form of a person. Like I said before, uh, like I said, when we look at financial independence here, Aquarius, we're also looking at maybe some ideas about how to make more money, how to invest. It's not always romantic relationship, unless that's what you want. I mean, it could be that as well, because we got the lover's card, but it's, it's more or less... Uh, you opening up space to meet new energies, to meet new energies. So congratulations to you. Like I said, this is the last quarter moon. You were gathering your feedback. You are, you know, this is a great time as we close out this cycle to identify distractions and energy leaks. Uh, this is a time to clear and clean, take care of everything you want to diminish, eliminate, or let go of in your life. Uh, this is where your body also wants rest. And so um, you may want to support it with intermittent fasting, um, eating a little leaner and a little cleaner, um, as well as being more gentle with yourself um, so that you can, you know, go in and reflect on moving into this super new moon. OK, Aquarius, so that you're not the food is not you're not assuming that the food is making you, you tired. So and of course, you know, talk to your doctor and see if it's OK for intermittent fasting. So. Here we have the death card. Yep, death card. So yeah, um, there is a rebirth happening. Like I said before, death, rebirth. It's a lot of things that's going on here. That could have been somebody's greatest fear. That It, it could have been a real fear for somebody that feels like, you know, if I kind of loosen the reins a little bit for my own adult child, that maybe something could happen to them. There could have been a real fear for somebody there, but source is saying to you, you're actually going through a rebirth Aquarius. So, and even if, um, not just an adult child, but even if, um, it could have been, a, um, I'm also picking up on like, maybe somebody was afraid because this is multi-layered. It could have been like somebody was afraid that maybe their child's other parent would die or something would happen with that or something like this, somebody had a, like this crippling fear of something happening. Somebody had a crippling fear that something would happen when actually what's happening is a rebirth. What is happening is a rebirth happening. So if you understand that the end of something is also the start of something else, um, on the other side, whether it's a physical 
resting and the, the spirit of sin higher or the end of a job. Now you're starting a new one or end of a marriage. Somebody could be open eventually to starting a new one or something like that. So somebody could, um, so many messages are coming through. Wow. Yeah. Somebody could also be afraid that, um, it, the, the feeling of death is, is so multi-layered because when I'm looking at here, the death card coming out, this, this, and source wants somebody to put all of their energy towards self, like doing things to nurture yourself so that you're not stressing yourselves out. So somebody could assume that a parent is dying. Somebody could assume that an adult child is something's going to happen to them. Um, but the, the, like I said, death of a person, a death of a, a place or a thing, like the ending of something happening. And so source is saying to you, instead of sitting around ruminating over it, focus on doing things to nurture you so that you're not stressed out, but your commitment is being tested. That's what's happening. Somebody's commitment to self is being tested. What did you say you wanted to do for yourself? So it's time for you to live your absolute best life. Aquarius. And that's what source is like. No, if you've been planning on taking a trip, take a trip, take a trip, go somewhere, spoil yourselves. Like you've been doing everybody else. You've been giving and giving and giving. Now it's your time to do for you. So that's what I'm saying for you, Aquarius. Look to the stars. This right here, number four or 31 reduces to four. It's really about your earth number. Like how, what, what do you want your life to be like here on earth? before because the last quarter last cycle last um the last uh, coming towards the last cycle it can be exhausting and draining because you've gained this is this has been a cycle about powerful feelers because we had a full moon on the sixth and that was a full moon in cancer and cancer is the i feel sign but it's also the mother and the money sign so on the other side of all of this if somebody could just release all the fear and doubt moving forward of that something horrible is going to happen and all of that, you're going to find out that your life is going to be better than you, than you even imagined. There we go to number four. I am stable. I am stable. That's right. You bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock in your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. Yeah. Yep. Dependable friend, partner, and colleague. Let's pull an affirmation card and let's close this out. Let's pull an affirmation card and let's close this out. Let's close this out. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody got married this year. Um, if that's what you want, that's, that's only if that's what you want. Freedom affirmations for freedom. Yeah. Somebody's going to feel free. It's free from free from fear, free, free from doubt, free from like the heaviness that you somebody has been just like somebody has literally been just weighed down for years. Like and so somebody's going to finally feel free. Here we have I am free to be me. I am free to live fully. I am present in this moment. I am not bound by my circumstances. I am stronger than fear and doubt. I have to I have the power to create a new reality. Yep, that is what I see for you. Thank you for joining me again. Happy new moon as we're about to get into this new moon as we're about to get into this new moon. So um, we have one last reading before the new moon, which we'll have on. Uh, it'll be Friday's video, which may actually go up on Thursday evening in some parts of the world. But get ready for a super new moon in Aquarius on the 21st of January. Okay. I'll see you on on uh I'll see you Friday. Bye. <laughs>